Uh, I was a little flooded last night, guys. We got a call come in. A little afraid to take our tow truck back here, but uh, looks like the water's come down a little bit. Well, a lot bit. And I think I see the one that we're supposed to be getting. I've had to have gotten some water damage. Had to have. By the looks of all the water that's been in here. Hello. Is this one you guys or this one? I believe I, I think I talked to you late last night. Yeah, I wasn't sure if, the, if you guys were the, uh, a, call, a call coming for Geico. Was that, is it the same? Yeah, that was us last night. Okay. You guys were supposed to check out at 10, wasn't it? Yeah. But it's been a hell of a morning. Gee whiz, man. How was that thing not completely covered with water with everything that, has come down? Oh, uh, you should have saw it yesterday. It was terrible. That had to have been covered with water, surely. It's with the GoPro. Oh, uh, we just record all of our stuff for the insurance. Oh, okay. For the yeah. insurance. Yeah, Um, I talked to a gal. Uh, Erica, or no, not Erica, Jesus, a bath. Yeah, it, uh, I think <laughs> she texted me a couple of times there uh, this morning. Yeah. Gee whiz, man, oh, yeah, that. In a cup holder, yeah, the key should be in a cup holder. Okay. They're, they just went, or they should be right back. Okay. So they should be here anytime now with the uh, rental. Oh, you guys went and got a rental. Okay. Man, I'd be surprised if they didn't. Uh... Huh, here comes another one. I'd be surprised if they didn't. Uh... Wait. Total it. Two of them? Wait. Why is it the other guy with you? No, he's not with me. <laughs> then who is you? Yeah, it's uh. Wait, what the? Ga Geico called me, so I don't know. I'm not sure. What the hell? Who's this dude? Right now? Who's this dude? Yeah. You made it here first, sure. <laughs> Geico called me late last night, and I couldn't get in here. One of, we got it at one o'clock in the morning, one sixteen. Yeah. Yeah, they called me late last night too, and I, we came out, but the road was still flooded, so we weren't gonna. I was out here yesterday with the sheriff's department and the rescue squad. Yeah. And they had me walk out there, and I, I was like, I'm not driving through that. It was up to. Above oh yeah. My knees. Yeah, that's what I was. It. That's what I was telling them. It's not worth. Tow yeah. trucks are very heavy. Yeah, it ain't worth it. Put my truck in the ditch, and the fire guy behind me said, "Well, we'll send out a full wheel drive." And next thing you know, the boats come up here. Yeah. Well, have fun, man. Thanks, brother. You have a good one, all right? I like yeah. the bird on him. Yeah, I like the bird. Well, gee. Ain't every day you see a tow truck driver with a bird, is it? I ain't never <laughs> seen two tow truck drivers at once. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let alone a bird. Right. <laughs> Bird's just for show. like, well, shit, I'm not getting paid. <laughs> um. Actually, they probably don't. They already paid um, for him. Yeah. They, they, showed up. they showed up late last night and, and couldn't get here. So, we'll shoot far. Let's um. How you gonna do this? <laughs> see if I can turn around and get this thing out of here. Yeah. I'm sure you guys would like to have your car back. Well, you if, said she went after a rental it, though. If it even runs. Yeah, because we didn't it's know. Pretty, it's pretty. We like you said, yeah. we were supposed to be checked out a lot or ten and stuff. Probably water damage is like hell right now. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it'd be a, a full coverage thing there on the... Yeah, my, my mom has full coverage on it, but like, 
Probably like so so the water had to have been water, up over the oh, hood. Yeah, the water was like up up over like this thing right here. It was so bad. So bad. That's crazy. Yeah, it's been yeah I, I really doubt it'll well, how it happened, it'll run. There was, there was a big like all this water right here, there was a big ass like wave of water that came all gushing down. Down, down this and hit um my sister's car and my mom's car. Cause my mom's car is so small uh -huh. and it was like flooding already it just and so we were like let's try to move it so my, yeah. sister, my sister wanted to go move it and she went to go back up and it kept sliding she didn't know that there was like a big you couldn't see any of this stuff you couldn't see the, the yeah. ditch she thought it was like a little puddle yeah and then next thing you know she started sliding and boom you just landed like that well let me get turned the around and was, see the motors holding the tire so that's if, completely if that, if that wasn't there the car would probably tip over yeah oh yeah for sure we'll see if we can get you uh pulled up here like i said it's it's completely up to you guys whether you want to try to start i don't i don't know that i'd recommend trying to even start it if it was that much underwater Nothing to hook to. Yes, ma'am. They were probably, they were probably dispatched as well. Sometimes they'll dispatch multiple companies. Yeah, yeah. It looks like you guys had a quite the wave come through here. I don't know that I would if it's if it's been that far underwater. I don't even think I'd even try to start it. I got around. Yeah, I would say it's. I'm gonna say it'd be totaled if it was that. If there's as much water as they're saying that was up over. There's no way. Yeah, this car's going with you, right? Yeah, I would say they'll total it, yeah. Yeah, because I got it right. It's been in hair, like, this is nothing. It's been in running water constantly over the bumper for 24 hours. Well, make sure you guys have got plenty of pictures, right? I mean, I'll have it on GoPro, yeah, but... I'm going to take more. Okay. Yeah. Just to make sure, because I, I would guess that they would total it. It's a, I only have 6,000 miles on it. It's 2020 Kia. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Uh, I, I wouldn't trust it. Brand new car with, with that much water that's been over it. You know what's funny? And I mean, you've got all of this damage here too. My run up. Oh my lord! Listen, look at there's decent damage there too. I mean, that wasn't from. The, that was from the beginning. What happened yeah. is when I was sitting up there, all that scratching, all this debris and water and branches came hit at when it yeah. was up there. It was up on this hill. Oh yeah, for sure. And then when we tried to get it out, the water just. Yeah. So there's stuff on the scratch on the other side. I'm guessing there's going to be multiple scratches. The, the water damage alone will probably total it. I mean, that much water over the motor. I, it's not a horrible thing. I have a company car at home. And yeah. This is my Renault. And that's the car I actually want to buy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, dear. Whoa. Crocs are not the mountain boot of choice. <laughs> oh, we've been wearing it because we've been so... We've been, we've, we've been stuck the whole time we've been here. So this is our vacation. We haven't yeah. done anything. Well, I'm sorry, guys. I, it seems like you're probably going to get a different car out of the ordeal. I don't, I don't think that's a thing, keeping that one.
sideways. Do they pull it sideways? Here we are, Gatlinburg. We're up here, guys. Top of the world here. We got a car. Miss. Miss the turn. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Looks like that ground effect's not liking you very well. Yeah. Well, I even tried to get the yeah from their house or whatever, yeah. and tried to. Think you can do it? Get it? Yeah, it'll come around there hopefully.
On your lower ground effect right now. Might need some ties in it, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. It just uh We've ended up on a pretty big stump. Um, maybe get lucky. It might just be the air dam. I think mostly it's the air dam, but I worry that we're pulling it. We'd want to catch this and yeah. pull it off. Broken plastic. Yeah, come over here and look at it from this side. You can get a pretty good angle on it. Yeah, I see it. I'm gonna put a little pressure on it and see what it's gonna do first, I guess. And
right here you can see, maybe from the front, I don't know, you can see the piece of it that's coming apart. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, I mean, it's bent, but uh, I mean, the stump was pretty flexible, so that's good. Yeah. You may need to take it to a, to a shop to get that hair down. Maybe bolt it back up. It's just kind of, it's plastic. It's kind of yeah. Big, but I don't think it's hurt anything. Um. All right, here we go, our guys at uh, Mountain Motorsports. I got, uh, that's a big, heavy bike. Got a big, heavy bike here, dropping off. I'm not sure what happened to it. Stopped running. Back here in the service. Lots of non-running stuff, looks like. We'll see if we can get this thing unloaded. I love hauling motorcycles on stuff like this. It's way easier than putting it on a rollback. The rollback's super steep and you're trying to get it and hold it and this makes things easy. trailer this trailers loaded down it won't pull up this hill so we're gonna see if he can get the truck up if he can get the truck up we're gonna go with the uh, trailer get the trailer up there to him all right we got the trailer up here Even right there. I'm trying to be as level as possible. He's got my wheel chocks up there, and I gotta get, I, I gotta go get him, and yeah. hopefully he can go right back down the hill after we get it. It ain't gonna go nowhere. You can even pull it in right there. Yeah, we just want to be our, down our, there. Our sheds right there. You can see the brown part. Yeah. 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 All right. We just want to be down. Didn't want to be downhill, and he want to be as level as possible. So yeah, he can. As long as we can let people get by with him. For sure. Yeah.
made it. You get enough run on it? Yeah, yeah. It is pretty steep up in here. Just to get up to where he was at is a pretty good hill. And then it drops off over there. And of course it drops off down here. So we're at the top, top of the mountain. So we've been working on a little flower bed and we've got the Polaris. We've been putting scoops of uh, dirt in the back of the Polaris. And we've got a little bit of a hill that we have to go up to get to the flower bed. And I hit it in reverse the first time. It worked pretty good. So I didn't flip over because we're pretty squatted. We'll see if we can get up there. Hey, I think my phone's in the seat. Do you hear me? Uh, my phone's in the seat. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Alright, come on, batteries. Come on, Butters. Over here, Butters. Good girl, come on. Watch your front. Back up into that spot again. Come here, Addy. Come on, Addy. Over here. Come on. Good girl. You got about a foot. Okay, stop, stop. Now we're going to see if we can dump it again. Yeah. Here you go. We do not have a manual or a hydraulic bed this is all manual so it gets heavy see if we can put you two here okay i think i hear coven i hear muscles who's here had a bunch of dirt lodged up in it but uh here's our flower bed we're gonna see if we can fill this up we've got some rocks down there for maybe a little bit of a retaining wall see if we can make something grow here now but we're off for another load all right unloaded we're go back to the other property and get some more dirt i've been working on my road system up here in these mountains it's not too bad
squeaky brakes. So we've been working on clearing this little spot out. I think for right now, we're probably gonna do like maybe a little gazebo campground fire pit area. But uh, the other property down there, we built the other house. Got that little road going. But we're gonna step back here and get us some more dirt. Since I need to dig down to level up anyway, we may as well get some more dirt. I'm not sure the Polaris is rated for such an excursion, but uh, we'll see. It worked the first two times, right? Why not? Let's have a ton of dirt. It'll be all right. Come on. I'll put you there, you two. Yeah, I think that was an extra scoop. Well, see. yeah, that was definitely an extra scoop. Look at the tailgate's boat out. Look at it. <laughs> I bent the, I caught the end of the tailgate there. Oops. I think it's okay though. It's just plastic. It's definitely boat out. Okay, wish us luck. Going back to the top of the load. Come on, Ranger. Maybe we should go with low gear instead of high gear. Yeah, let's try that. Front end's a little floaty. I have got mud all over me. Okay. We can make it up that. We'll be okay. Oh my gosh. One, two, three. One, two, three, turn. Okay, we 
made it to the top. are barely on the ground like barely so I probably shouldn't go up this front way uh no yeah that extra scoop was not a good idea scoop on it and I shouldn't have put an extra scoop on it. Here you go. Well that uh can you reach that tailgate from your side to undo it? Is that latch? Yeah, oh. Oh. Careful. I don't think it's got any pressure on it. But... Hmm. <laughs> Are you ready? Your hand right here. Yep, that was definitely an <laughs> <laughs> uh. mm. Coven could have done that all by himself. Yeah. Well, 